City Council candidate Joe Briali has been stripped of his endorsements after apologizing for comments that he made online. The community is accusing him of being racist and transphobic. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez has the story. This is what I apologize for. I apologize for engaging in uh, the, the cesspool of the internet. City Council candidate Joe Bray Ali reacting to the firestorm of criticism created by comments he made online more than a year ago about race and transgenders. Even if he's genuinely sorry, the statements he's made in the rather recent past show that he's got a lot to learn. We cannot afford to even consider voting for someone who has that kind of track record in the first council district. And the man who Bray Ali forced into a May 16th runoff, incumbent Gil Cedillo, said this. He should drop out. Yes, he should. His online comments mock overweight people. He's highly critical of the transgender community. The comments were posted to a site called VOAT, which bills itself as a community platform where you can have your say, no censorship. The comments have been taken down, but were shown on the website LAist. One, referring to a picture of black tribesmen, reads in part, the dark-skinned people in this image are not Africans, except in the most sweepingly deep historical sense that we are all Africans. Seems to disqualify a group as the N-word to me, but I'm not an expert. I leave that to you. N words. I also didn't recall everything I posted online. I think we've all been there. You're not a racist or a bigot. You know, that's a hard question to answer. It's like, when did you stop beating your wife? Um, I've lived a life that I think is very clearly shown that those aren't things that I believe in, those aren't values that I believe in. Ali said he knew there would be something controversial brought up in this campaign. He just didn't know what it was. City Council Member Mitchell Farrell had endorsed Bray Ali over the incumbent Cedillo. Today, O'Farrell withdrew that support. From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, Kick On 9 News.